Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to a couple new CSS packages for the upcoming Canvas starter site, which uh, are for the checkout page. Really quickly, before I do that, I just wanted to mention that uh, the club's four-year anniversary sale is going on. And uh, the reason I wanna mention that in this video is because you can pre-order the Canvas starter site as part of that, uh, that huge savings that's going on right now. So. Definitely check that out. Anyway, I wanted to mention that. Let's go ahead and dive in. Here we are looking at the Canvas starter site checkout page as it would look by default, um, the way my listing presents it. So this is nothing that I've done. This is just out of the box specifying an accent color um, with my listing. And this is, this is what you're gonna get. So uh, I'm gonna duplicate this tab so we can see how we progress th through this and see the changes that these CSS packages bring, okay? So in the back end, if you haven't watched any of these um, other Canvas CSS package videos, um, I'll just mention that again here, how this is done. There is a code snippet and WP code box for light mode and then one for dark mode, okay? So you simply toggle one on or the other and off you go. It's, it's really simple, which you'll see here in this video. So. Looking here in WP code box, we don't have either of the snippets enabled. They're both off. So that's why we are seeing this default look here, okay? So first up, we're gonna look at light mode. Very simple, um, highlight the code snippet, toggle it on, that's it, and you're, you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and refresh. And you'll see right off the bat just how much more modern it looks and more clean. So before and after. Uh, one of the things here is I've turned this link into a button right here. Um, got rid of this just kind of half-assed borders box shadow. It just doesn't look all that great. So, you know, um, this is, I put a nice red border around that. Uh, removed a border here on this left-hand side. Just, it really cleans it up. It makes it look way more modern than what you get out of the box. Uh, just this, this, this random um, border up here at the top, that's removed. A nice uh, background is added to differentiate between this top section and this bottom section. And a, a nice, clean, sharp border here for the payment method area, what I call the bottom container, the right column bottom container. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the field labels here, um, what I don't like is, you know, the the way that there's a mix of uppercase and lowercase, and then the labels are hard to see. They're like the same color as the actual values. So it's really hard to, to this form is hard to navigate if you're a user. It's just, it's not very intuitive. But now you can see the labels, the uppercase, lowercase is fixed, it's consistent. The labels pop, pop off the screen compared to the values that you put in there. So those really stand out. Um, cleaned up some things like, you no longer have that that um, terrible, in my opinion, terrible looking icon that happens when you hover over these items, like you see here. It just just looks tacky, in my opinion. It looks cheap. Um, so that's addressed. All of these asterisks are styled. They're not in this CSS package, but they are in the global CSS package for um, right here for uh, the Canvas starter site. So that's where those are done. They're done globally because there's a lot of different places where you could have forms that have asterisks. So I just chose to do that globally. All right. What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, cleaned all that up. And then over here, uh, the, the next part is this, what I call the terms area. So down here in the terms area, I put a nice um, underline under the policies. So you see here, and I bolded those. So... You'll see the before and then the after. So a nice bold and an underlined. So they can clearly identify that those are your policies, which are hugely important for e-commerce sites like ours. Um, the coupon. So if you click on this link, you know, again, this just doesn't look that great, uh, but if they, they see it and they, they happen to click on it, this is what they're gonna get. It's not the, it's not the worst thing in the world, but again, you've got this weird shadow border. It just doesn't look that great. Um, so this is what you get over here, okay? All right. 
So that's what you get. And that's that also matches the look of the cart. So everything is cohesive. Everything looks the same. Um, all that good stuff. Uh, if you add a coupon here, uh, let's see if we, see if we, what we can break here. So we add a coupon and here we go. A little styling here on the uh, remove coupon link. I, f I don't think I can do that over here because I think it's going to update the, the page. Oh, nope. It got us there. Okay. So you can see how these messages look here. Um, let's see. If I can go here, let's try adding the coupon again. So if I can get that error message, there we go. So you see the difference in the, the messages here, how clean that looks compared to this. You get some cheap looking icons and just doesn't look all that great. Okay, so that is light mode. Of course, you know, everything looks good on mobile devices. That is mostly attributed, is pretty much all attributed to my listing, the my listing developers. I didn't do anything here specifically to make it look better on mobile. I just wanted to show you on mobile how it looks. So everything looks good. Everything looks good. Cool. All right. So let's jump over to dark mode. I'm going to go ahead and remove the coupon, refresh this page. And we'll just get, get back here to the base. Okay. So let's fire up dark mode to show you how easy it is to do that. So we go back to our checkout page, code snippet, toggle it off, go to the dark mode, toggle it on and refresh. That's all there is to it. Okay. Uh, big difference before, after night and day, like, you know, pun intended there, but it just looks worlds different. And this has been designed by, you know, uh, by me, to the most granular level. Um, but as part of the starter site guarantee, if you notice that I missed something and you can show me that here on the canvas site in this example, in the live demo, you know, you could show that I've also messed that up, that it's not just messed up on your site. I will try my best to fix it for everyone for free. Okay. So that's part of the guarantee. Now let's put in a coupon code. Let's apply it. We see that over here, some styling on the remove link there. All of these drop downs are always a fun challenge to make dark mode, but these are all done. Put in some text here. Uh, United. So there we go. The inputs are working in dark mode. That's all good. That's all good. Border notes. Do, 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 do. Nice border on focus there. Okay. All the buttons are styled. All this good stuff. See the links, the term links here again. Okay, I think you know most everything else I covered in the light mode, but you can just see I did uh, over here. I adjusted the borders to make these you know look look nice, and uh, I made the the top section and the bottom section on different backgrounds so they stood out, um, stood apart. Rather, uh, real quick look at mobile, and then we'll get you out of here. Okay, there we go. Dark mode. Everything looks good on mobile. All good. Cool. All right, guys. Um, that is the CSS packages, light and dark mode for the upcoming Canvas starter site. Catch you guys in the next video.